Hi, thank you for tuning in. I am Ambarish, a Mumbai-based Microsoft Certified Professional, and this video is about the some if, some ifs, and the not so frequently used dsum functions in Microsoft Excel. Right, so let's take a look at the data. I've been given uh, a data of an organization that deals with multiple dealers, hence the dealer codes are mentioned in column A. These dealers sell various parts of, of that organization to the various customers and the various part numbers are mentioned in column C. There is a price as well for each part and, and the and the uh, the date when the uh, sale happened. All right, now I would like to find out how much have I made through all my dealers for a particular part. Let's take an example, this one, the one that ends with uh, with AC, right? I'll just simply copy paste that into my uh, external cell, just so simply extend the column width and I can use this sum if function because it's just one condition that I have to work with. Now, it's asking me for a range. The range is going to be the entire column of all the various part numbers. Control backspace to come back to the active cell and without losing my selection of the column C. Now, criteria is this, which is G3. All right, of, of course, I can change the part number in the cell G3. I can obviously apply a drop down there, right? And then the sum range is the column of various prices right and that's it enter got the answer so i know i have been able to make 10142 dollars or pounds or rials or rupees by selling this part number in g3 to various customers okay now i would like to find out how much has this part number made for from a particular dealer let's say the dealer ending with 555 so copy and maybe paste it somewhere uh, here all right yeah i'll just extend the column width of that right now i can come here and apply the sum ifs function because it's a case of and right now the first parameter in the sum range function as you can see in the tooltip is sum range so this column of price which was my last selection in the sum if function now becomes my first selection so control shift down and that's it control backspace to quickly come back to the active cell without losing selection criteria range one well i can come here and choose this entire column of all the parts comma and i want it for this part right now comma criteria range two is going to be my column of all my dealer codes control shift down control backspace and criteria two is this dealer code here so i am communicating to my excel that hey mr excel please look into column d which has got all the prices and then check in the column of the various part numbers check for g3 and in the column of various dealer codes check for h2 oh i think i've made a small mistake there the, the last cell isn't appearing no problem i can i can do it manually i know my last is 1069 in that a column that's it i can press enter and that's it i've got the answer so this is some ifs okay now what if my condition changes right i would like to find out how much money have i made by this part which was initially uh, selected along with that i also want to find out how much have i made by this part right so how much money have i made oh i think i copy paid the same part number again let's go somewhere down here okay this one yeah so i want to find out how much money have i made by selling these two parts now the sum ifs function will not work all right you can try this and let me know if it works the sum ifs function will not work because this is a case of or and that's when you would need to use the dsum function so let's see how i can do that i copy paste the header also all right and then i list down the various parts right in this case it's these two parts I say D sum, <clears throat> D sum. It's asking for a database. So I'll select the complete data, the complete table, control backspace to come back to the active cell without losing the selection. Field, well, I would like to do a summation in the price column. Hence, I will select the D1, which is the header of that column which contains all the price values i could have also punched in four here because the price is the fourth column like you would do in case of the column index number parameter in vlookup so either i can type the four manually or d1 because that's my header both are okay comma criteria is this 
range which I have externally prepared. That's it and that's your answer. I hope you like this video. I hope you now know the importance of the dsum function. Please try d count, d average, there is d count a also, d max, d min, d get and let me know your experience about working with these functions. Hey, thanks for watching. Have a nice one. Stay safe. See you soon.